All right, so this trip was a bit of a fail. So I met up with Matsy and Luke, and it was supposed to be an epic four days hiking 55 kilometers along the remote Australian coastline with no food and water, surviving only off what we can catch. But that was until 15 kilometers into the hike, Matsy realized he'd lost his keys. So given that this hike requires a car shuffle, the only option now was to camp up for the night at a nearby lake in gale force winds and the next day, turn around, walk back the 15 kilometers on this never ending stretch of beach, across the icy waters of the river mouth, back to Luke's car, where hopefully we would find Matsy's keys. Down between the seats. Ah! <laughs> We've done it again, boys and girls. We've done it again. <laughs> so should we start that thing again? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. So with renewed hope, we gathered our things and headed back into the coastal wilderness for part two of our epic coastal adventure where we plan to spend the next three days of the mailing off what we can catch and forage in this beautiful coastal paradise. Come on, we're on here, we're on here. Yeah, we're on. Woo! Oh, it's our first glimpses of the water. It looks like bloody paradise. Wow, wow, wow. This is insane. We got an eagle. Oh, eagle flying ahead, beautiful little estuary. We are on. Nature, baby. <laughs> Come get some. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Look at that water. Oh, we keep seeing some commotion out in the water. We think there's probably some salmon. We did see some floodies swimming around as well. So, while well, we've still got some light, and before we get cancelled, we'll just go for a quick fish and hope we can get something for dinner. Oh, well, no luck with the fishing. I think we'll go and get camp set up now. How happy is this? Yeah, it's so good. Crack on the spot. We'll just be fishing all evening up off yeah. here, I reckon. Wow, look at that. All right, we've got the tarp set up. We've got a yeah, less than an hour till it gets dark, so we might uh, jump in the water and grab ourselves a feed. All right, so because it was getting quite late, I decided to spearfish the estuary rather than going out in the ocean. But yeah, once I dived down, the visibility was absolutely shocking, but there were quite a lot of fish swimming around, which was really great to see. There were some good sized ludric as well as some brim. And I had this nice logic come up and present itself to me, which I go to take the shot on, but unfortunately the body safety lock was on. So yeah, he lives to fight another day. So I take another dive down and here you can see me grab onto the rock to help fight my buoyancy as I didn't bring any little weights to me on this trip. And as I was having to kick my feet to stay down, the logic were getting a little bit spooked and we're keeping the distance. So it made it pretty tricky to get one in my sights. But I managed to spot one hiding behind a rock, which I took a shot on and luckily I managed to snag him. So I chucked him in the tucker bag, reloaded the gun, and then I came across this big fallen log, which I see some big fish hiding around it. So I decided to just hang here for a moment, stay really still, just let the fish get used to me and come out of hiding. And sure enough, a nice logic presents itself here, which I take the shot on and I managed to snag him, which I was pretty stoked about. It was a decent size and to have two logic in the bag is definitely a good feed for dinner. Logic are quite a fun fish to target when you get into spearfishing because there's usually quite a lot of them around and they're quite a fast fish as well so they still provide a bit of a challenge. So I chucked them in the tucker bag and there's dinner sorted. It's freezing. <laughs> it's getting pretty close to dark now. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty successful little spear just then. Managed to get two pretty nice ludric. That's a, that's a good one just there. Are you... Are you telling these people that you got this? Mate, I'm a provider. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even speak, I'm so cold. <laughs> it's literally freezing out, oh, so. Nah. Great oh. work, mate. That is, that is just made tonight. 
yeah. ten times better than it already was. Eh? Like, <laughs> I'm guessing you guys didn't get any fish. <laughs> nah, I didn't get any fish, but you got two, so that was two. for me, nah, Matt. Yeah. The, yeah. the ones I caught were too big. I just thought, oh, yeah, it's only back, three. Eh? Of it. It's only sure. three of this. It's like a twenty feeder. <laughs> to a great start to the trip. In. Cheers. Too late, there he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Here we go. Rude, eh? Rude. Not bad. Oh, yeah. The be be yeah, baked beans. Mm. Luke was saying this is too fancy. <laughs> so, fish eat. tacos, oh, that's way too fancy for me. <laughs> if you're cooking, I'm happy. <laughs> Girls gone wild and boys gone wild are two very different things, aren't they, gentlemen? <laughs> well, good morning, guys. Another beautiful day in paradise. Yes, it is. Just trying to soak up the nice morning sunlight. Luke's over the other side, going for a bit of a fish, but I don't think he's having uh, too much luck. I'm trying to go back and have some brekkie soon. We'll jump, jump out in the water and go for a bit of a spear, sort of around mid morning, I reckon. Be yeah, okay, so a few little lobsters, mate. That'd be nice. Oh, mate, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. That's good. <laughs> what can I say? Fishing is better in Victoria, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> They're there. They're just so skittish, hey. Very flighty. You're doing a spin. Get me out of here. <gasps> oh, they're going after it. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. oh dude. Oh. oh shit. You're kidding. Look at the salmon master. Call me the son of man. Oh. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, boy. Good luck, boys. Done it again. How good is that, mate? Salmon off the beach. We're out at the front of camp. You are Yew. kidding. <laughs> Yew. Yew. That is. Oh, mate, how good was that? Such a nice looking fish, eh? Mm. Well done, mate. Well done. Cheers, mate. Alright, the old salmon liver. Perfect brekkie. You ever had salmon liver before? No, I have no idea how this is going to go. Chicken liver, but yeah. hoping it's the same. Alright, I guess. Go for it, eh? No, it's thought? good. It's all right. It's uh, it's kind of like salmon flesh, but a little bit more mushy <laughs> and a lot of grit. You're not selling it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave a little bit, a little bit of salt, and it'd be perfect. <laughs> Oh, 
pull back, pull them back. We're on, boys. Nature, baby, come get some. And we did. We we all we all did. So I'm gonna throw this one back because yeah, Luke's just caught a big, big juicy one. Beautiful fish though. Paradise. Just like that. Too easy. Up you go, mate. <laughs> no, nice nice <sighs> release, mate. <laughs> we did it, boys. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Come on, we're on here. We're on here. Come on. Oh, yeah, we're on. Yes, nice. You come here, baby. There we go. Nice. Oh, man, what a beautiful fish. All right, well, since we've already got a, a nice one, we'll let this one go. Oh. <laughs> there we go, buddy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, boys. Ah, yeah. Hey. Well, we're just killing some time. I think I might give you guys a quick look at the new backpack I got. This is from Mystery Ranch. This is a Bridger 55. Now, the reason I got this pack is uh, mainly sort of for these like spearfishing trips because you're carrying quite a heavy load. Like, I think my pack was around about 20 kilos or so hiking into here. And the Mystery Ranchers are renowned for being a really good pack um, for yeah, carrying heavy loads. So, the back yoke system is like really nice and thick and padded, and it's kind of got this. Um, I think they call, it, they call it a yoke system, but it's like a running vest kind of strap system. And it's actually really comfortable. Like I've, um, yeah, we hiking in here yesterday, actually sort of, yeah, like fits the load to your back nicely. So pretty, um, yeah, pretty impressive so far. Um, it's got a nice big lid as well, which you can actually unclip and you can actually use the lid as like a little day pack. It's got a strap on it. And so that way if you leave camp, you can actually yeah, take the lid with you. Uh, it's got some stretch pockets on the side and on the front and that's probably the only downside i find with this pack is i'm never a big fan of backpacks that have stretch pockets on the side because when you've got your water bottle in here and that rubbing up against like some rocks or something can easily put a hole in it but it seems like every backpack brand always makes stretch pockets which i don't know why they do i wish they'd make it out of like a bit more of a durable material but apart from that um yeah pretty um impressed with it but undo the lid here you can actually unclip this here you can actually zip that right down and so you basically access everything inside your pack so that's really handy for getting gear that it's like sort of right at the bottom actually speaking of right at the bottom it's also got this other unique feature here where you unclip this and it's just got a straight zip that goes right across because most backpacks you have this like u-shaped zip which puts a lot of pressure on the zip but by doing that, there's no pressure on the zip, so it's never gonna you know, get busted and you can you grab your stuff out of there nice and easily. So, like I said, this is a first trip using it. It is slightly on the heavier side, it's about 2.4 kilos, but for a good like traditional backpack that's designed to carry heavy loads, I think it's, um yeah, it's doable. So, yeah, once I get a, a few more trips um, under the belt with it, I'll uh, yeah, give you guys a, a proper review on it. And the wind's starting to pick up today. It's actually um, pretty chilly today. I think the temps were going to be like 16 or 17 degrees. They're definitely feeling in the air and not too keen to jump in the water, are we, Matty? Not overly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, it's lovely in there. Luke just went, to, went for a swim to try and get some GoPro footage of some salmon swinging around. But yeah, definitely on the chilly side. I think we, um, we might get this uh, salmon on and get a, a good feed cooked up for lunch. Look at that. Chunks of meat. Good chunks.
So we've just got some coleslaw. And just chuck in some of the salmon. And to go with that, we've got some garlic aioli. Good. I don't know why some people like say salmon's bad. I love it. The last few times we've had it, it's actually been quite nice. Yeah, I feel good. like the people that say, oh, salmon's crap, are the same people who like only drink craft beer, like, and like, <laughs> think any other like normal beer is disgusting. And... It's like me. <laughs> is that you? Yeah, there you go. Okie doke, so we've just got our gear. We're just going to make our way over to the beach and around that headland and go for a bit of a spear and a fish over there. Fire out, this place is bloody paradise. Like this little estuary here, it's just crystal clear turquoise blue water. Look at this beautiful beach. There's no swell as well, which is really good because yesterday there was a fair bit of swell out here. So that is beautiful spearing conditions. I got the big one. <laughs> yeah, so stoked with that. Couldn't That's believe cool. it. So you guys what I caught is a little bit smaller than Matty's, but still a nice little size for dinner. That's also a bend and more long. And we've just got a yeah, a bunch of mussels in there yeah. as well to cook up. So it should be good. Yeah, just a bit smaller, oh. eh? Just a little bit. Look mate, it's, <laughs> a, it's not all about size. <laughs> <laughs> a little scorpion. And right next to where I'm sleeping. <laughs> So that's comforting. That scorpion's about the size of the fish you just speared, isn't it? There <laughs> <laughs> we go. My favourite right there. The old fish eyes. Mm. No, go on. You alright? Alright, uh, salmon fish eyes. Salmon fish testicle. It is actually pretty good. It's all good, it's like mushrooms. It's like a, I want to see quite oystery flavour, it's real creamy. It's actually not too bad. So yeah, give it a go, <laughs> if you're brave enough. Oh, I just got a whiff of one, so good. Ooh, you're boiling juice for your hand there, mate. It's all good fun. You were going for that one. Oh, no. Yeah, Actually, it looked good, didn't it? <laughs> did you I think want I just magnetised towards it for some reason. Oh, what's up. that little thingy? I have no idea. Oh, it's a parasite. <laughs> what? Probably won't eat oh, that. oh, I've got a parasite my oh, one too. Wow. Is that a crab or a parasite? That's some sort of crabby parasite. So don't eat any of that? or oh, You could probably eat, or the, just don't eat the parasite. Just don't eat the parasite. Oh, you could. Hey, Luke oh. would probably eat the parasite. Parasite in that one, no worries. Don't worry about that. Don't know. That is good. Yum. It is good. Yum. Yum. I love the parasite ones though, especially. Yeah. Really Extra cool. protein. Living like kings. Living like absolute kings.
Oh, that is hot. Ow. <laughs> That's the thing you did, yeah. Look at that. The difference is that feels pretty well cooked. Not bad, but it doesn't have like the best texture to this this fish. Oh. A little bit mushy compared it. to the um, salmon. The salmon's got such like a good texture. Yeah, it tastes all right. Just yeah, a little bit mushy. Mushy fish and mushy fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the chili side last night. Oh, mate, I was, I think around 3 a.m. is when like I woke up and I was like, I'm frozen. Yeah. Get out of the car, I'm baking on some sourdough. A simple but effective Dish. Is this simple, is it? <laughs> Not a bad trip. Mate, what a few days this has yeah. been, hey. Cracking. Just being able to like catch salmon literally like out the front of camp off the beach, like mm -hmm. it does not get much better than that. Biggest fish you've caught? That salmon? Yeah, like on the rod. Yeah. yeah. I've speared the salmon before. Yeah. Um, but yeah on a rod I on think. On a rod is. that's the biggest I think I've caught. Yeah. So. Yep. You almost feel like it's gonna break the line. Like that. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Well, I can say it's been an interesting trip coming along with these two because I find you guys are like chalk and cheese. Like, Scotty's like meticulous, plans everything, <laughs> very well organized. OCD. Very well organized. And Matt's has got, you know, this chaotic comedy kind yeah. of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really does feel does. about it. Throw them, it together, so get out there. It's, uh, See what yeah, happens. It, it's been really fun to watch. It's funny because before going out with Matty on trips, I thought I was pretty chaotic. So nah. it's actually nice having you around because you, you actually <laughs> make me feel you're like welcome. I'm organised and I've got my shit together. <laughs> you're you're organised like to well. the point. Yeah. Like yeah. to the most minute detail. What sort of people were you hanging around with where you felt like the unorganised Yeah, guy? exactly. <laughs> I'm going to tell them that next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even though this wasn't exactly the trip we planned for, I think it taught us some good lessons. The first being to always check to see if you have your keys before setting off on a 55 kilometre hike. And the second, that sometimes things just don't go to plan and you just have to adapt and make the best of the situation. Down between the seats. <laughs> We've done it again, boys and girls. We've done it again. <laughs> As the saying goes, when life gives you lemons, pour yourself a nice gin and tonic. Yeah, we're on. You. So yeah, in a way I think it worked out for the better. Just a few mates living from the sea, hidden away in a little slice of paradise. Now this is the stuff that memories are made from.